Well, this is how I, 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 I put it to my students who take my introduction to cognitive science. We have a scientific worldview in which mm -hmm. science and the scientists and their meaning making have no proper ontological place. We are the whole yeah. science and, and we are the black hole within this. Okay, now John, now John's coming out of his shell. Now he's speaking from the heart. We're hearing his calling. We're hearing his passion. The room has been set. Everybody's getting a little bit more comfortable with each other. And now John is really gonna start to, Jordan, Jordan's pulled it out and John will say, hey, wait a minute, this, this is something that matters. This is something I care about. The, the scientists and their meaning making have no proper ontological place. We are the whole mm, yeah. science and- And of course, Peugeot is smiling here because Peugeot is like, they have no place to stand. That's what he keeps saying. And that's what he said on the, the symbolic world. That's what he said to rationality rules. That's what he said to Adam. You have no place to stand. There's no framework from which you can account. Your entire effort, this foundationalism has been accounting for things, but you can't account for yourself. You, you demand that everyone else come to account. You can't count. You can't account for yourself. Oh, science. And we are the black hole within this worldview. Mm -hmm. that okay, there's the meaning crisis. And if he had started, what, okay, I believe we have a meaning crisis. What is this meaning crisis? We are a black hole in the middle of this worldview. And we used to be the black hole out of which we imagined we saw everything. And now we realize, we looked in the mirror, and we realize we are the black hole ourselves. This is tied to, and there you've got a central image. Now everything else flows out from it. 